Hi, welcome back to another story time. If you are new to this channel, my name is Miss Bongai, and if you watch my videos regularly, thank you and welcome back. So, I know you're here for a story time. I'm not going to waste much of your time. So, are you ready? Are you So before I give you the story, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do hit the subscribe button down below as well as the notification icon, the, no the bell, um, so you're notified every time I post a new video. Alright, so let me get started with the story. Um, Pai Vapo, there was a girl, and that girl was me, and I was on Tinder, and I matched with this guy. Why I matched with him, I really don't know, um, because he really wasn't my type, like, he was, like, the opposite of my type, but we matched, and I matched with him, so, yeah, um, so we matched and we agreed to go on a date um, and we spoke about everything and all of that we basically agreed that we were going to he was going to contact me around 5 pm and we were just going to confirm our plans and everything right so bear in mind i said 5 pm so around like, about like 3 30 um mans will call him jonathan jonathan is like to me hey um where are you right now and i'm like i'm at home and he's like oh okay cool i am running a bit late so i might not be able to to have our dates before five or whatever and then i'm like oh okay cool i'm like you'll just call me and we'll confirm and then a few minutes later he's like to me send your location i'm on on my way to you and in my head i'm like on your way to me where like uh uh aren't we supposed to meet around five and you know it's around three so i haven't even started getting ready for this date at all and then he's like no i'm on my way to see you blah 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 and i'm like okay fine so i send him a location close to where i stay because i don't believe in like sending people your location because i don't know they could just come kidnap you or whatever um and then yeah he got there so then i go outside to meet him and then behold there is a whole combi um what is it called the benz combi the viano so there's a whole viano there and then there's him and two other people so already i'm like hold up hold up hold up isn't this supposed to be a date with you and i like who are these other people but then he's like to me no his friend gave him a lift to come see me because um yeah his car was getting fixed and he was waiting to pick it up and that's what was actually like delaying him and I'm like, oh, okay, cool. And he's like, so do you want to just come with us? And then we'll go pick up my car. And yeah, and then do dinner after. And obviously, I said no. Because one, I do not know you. I'm meeting you for the first time. You've come here with two other people. What if you guys want to kidnap me? Like, what if you legit want to kidnap me and human traffic me? So no, I'm not comfortable with like just coming with going with you like a complete stranger um and then we decided that we were going to like um push our plans to a bit later so now we were gonna meet around seven and i was like okay cool we will meet at the restaurant around seven um all right fast forward it's around seven i get there around half seven and when i'm there he calls and he says there was really bad traffic um and he's going to be a bit late so i'm like okay you're gonna be a bit late what time do you think you're gonna you're gonna arrive and he's like um i will probably be there around you know 8 30 and i'm like okay i'm already here but it's fine i will just like sit at the bar have a drink blah 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 so yeah time goes on 8 30 comes i try contacting this guy um he's not picking up and at this stage i'm just like oh my gosh i got played here i am i'm being stood up and yeah and then i just decided you know what this is gonna be a solo date i am going to eat my food and be merry and then go back home you know like psh, yeah um and then round about nine um this guy calls 
and then he's like nah I am still coming I'm on my way I am just running a bit late and then I'm like all right cool and at this stage I've already had like my starter and I've already ordered like my main course because you know it was now a solo date um, and I was also quite pissed because I mean I was there by half seven and he got he got there around like past nine so I was sitting in the restaurant alone eating alone for all that time and then eventually man's rocks up and I look up, behold, he is with this fine, 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 fine chocolate man. And remember, I had already mentioned that Jonathan was not my type. So he came to our date with this guy who was like spot on my type. So I'm like, oh, hello, you know. Um, so yeah. Now... This friend of his, we will call him Tom. So Tom sits in front of me, so he's facing me, and then Jonathan sits next to me. So I'm like still angry at Jonathan, so I'm being very like offish and like I'm not giving him like much attention and whatever. And his friend Tom's just had a vibe to him, you know. Like so the conversation between Tom and I was flowing here and there, you know, Jonathan would just like, you know, try to pitch in. But like the conversation between the two of us, like Tom and I was a flowing, it was popping, it was happening, you know, like yeah. And um at this stage I'm just like, you know what? Like how dumb was this guy to bring this friend of his to our date because now it's turned into a Vongai and Tom date and not a Vongai and Jonathan date and you know like there were moments I would completely forget that Jonathan was like next to me and I feel really bad for that because that was very trashy of me but I was also upset and all of that so I'm going through all these emotions of okay here is this handsome man my bill is getting paid because obviously you know um, I had gone on this date and I had already like concluded man's wasn't showing up so now I'm happy that my bill is being paid and all of that and yeah like this date like hit a real 360 real quick like it, it, it yeah like it went from really like bad to like really good like real quick thanks to Tom so yeah we're talking we're talking we're eating well i'm done eating um and we're now drinking we're like drinking and i've loosened up i am a bit happier and all of that so at some point i am on my phone and then i tweet this tweet right here which reads so I'm on a date and he bought his friend and his friend is everything that's been missing in my life and then my Twitter just started like blowing up and like people actually requested the story time that is why I am telling you this story time so yeah back to the story so basically this Tom character like he's popping he's got a good personality like our conversation is flowing well we're really getting along and he had like this really cute tattoo like here and it was just like sexy you know like he was popping um and then um there's this little character right next to me here who Shay is not my type at all like not my type um so yeah this date basically just turned into like a date between me and his friend like this guy's friend um which is really sad but it happens like why would you bring your friend to a date why would you bring your friend to a first date like you're supposed to be getting to know someone but now you've brought a whole completely other person so we have to accommodate everyone there and unfortunately in this situation we accommodated tom and i and mr over here like sham 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 sorry babes sorry but yeah and then the plot thickens so the date is almost over and all of that and I'm like getting ready to go home 
And then, yeah, so we ask for the bill. And guess what? Guess what? Tom, the friend of Jonathan, my date, paid the bill. Jesus is Lord! Does that even make sense? Does that even make sense? How do you bring someone else to your date and then that person pays the bill? Like, I don't know, maybe things are done a little bit differently these days or whatever, but I just don't think it made sense. And it was like already like the reddest red, 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 red flag for me, like, bitch, run. Like, <laughs> Like, no, like, why is your friend paying for our dates? Like, why is your friend paying for our date? Which started, which made a lot of sense because there were parts of the day where Tom would offer me stuff and I was just like, oh, no, no, no. And it makes sense why he was offering me all the stuff because man's knew he was paying for the bill at the end. So, yeah. Um, and no, 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 it, 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 there's more. So, Tom and I initially had agreed, no, Jonathan, Jonathan and I had agreed that he was going to pay for my Uber to come back to where I stay because we had decided to have our date a bit far and all of that, so I was like, okay, cool. And then, so he, I ordered my Uber and like, he gives me like the money for the Uber and he gives me like scrunched up money, you know, like. You know that last money you have in your pocket or in your bag or it's under your bed? You know that last money that's like scratched up and you were saving it? And get this, the money was not even enough for my Uber. The money he gave me was not even enough for my Uber. And you know what? It's fine. It's my Uber. I'm the one getting home. So I was just like, you know what? Take this little bit of money and I'm out. Am I ever going to talk to this nigga again? Nah, it's done. It's done, 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 done. Like... So many red flags, I'm not doing that ever again, and no, like, that was like the worst and the best date ever, all in one, like, it was, it was a very awkward situation. Okay, wait, wait, wait. so even after, he's given me this money that's not enough for my Uber and everything, when I got home, I did text him and I told him I got home safe, like, which I think every person should do, and then I told him that, and man had the nerve to text me and say like should i pass through hatfield when i'm done here and i'm like nah i'm cool and we've never spoken after that now you're probably wondering so what happened between tom and i tom and i have never spoken after that date like yeah we've never spoken and that's where it ended but yeah i hope you guys I hope you guys enjoyed the story time and yeah if you did enjoy it please do give it a thumbs up and you know leave your comments in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe I love you guys <laughs>